That's me and Matt just arrived in Arran. Absolutely beautiful day. We don't know where we're going, but we'll get somewhere. We're for a two-nighter. So, no need to rush. Right, somewhere. Right, I'll log off for now. Looking back at the ferry, of course. Somebody's in swimming there. Oh, they're just going in, into the boat, if you can see it. Check that out. Look at that. I use my favourite word, fantastic. Heading towards uh, Goat Fell, but no intention of uh, even attempting to go up. It's too hot. That's for another an hour trip. Well, certainly for myself. Uh, just walk along the beach front right now. See where that takes us. Matt must be getting used to bridges, he never tested that bridge there. That's the first time ever. A signpost there. This is uh, part of the coastal coastal walkway, Aran coastal walkway that we're doing. I think it's 65 mile route, so <laughs> we'll be doing that, something like that, 65, 66 miles. Fisherman's Walk by Shore and Bridge to Brodick Castle. Up that way. On to the beach. We've been along, walking along the roads for three or four minutes, but there's a bit off it because there's no way to walk and it's a narrow road to start with. It looks like we're stuck again. That's Matt doing his commando. Right, go along this way and see where we end up. We might have reached a dead end. Unless we swim, run it, Matt. We 
You can swim run that easy. We have packs on. You go first. <laughs> Be careful. If you don't think you're gonna do it, we can just walk back. Fuck. That's it. That's it. There you go. Well done. Right, it's my turn. I need to put the camera away. Half six now. We're still looking for a pitch. We found another good bit, but again, it's right beside a, a lay-by. Uh, don't know if that's a coincidence or must be, I guess. But we're going to walk another just to that bit sticking out, bit of rock sticking out. You can see. And then, if we don't find a bit, we'll turn back. Max pointing to a bit. Right, let's see what he's found. Where are we heading? Over. Right, we'll go over there. on the road quicker this way it was good a map to make a path through the jaggy nettles and the thorns for me <laughs> we shot son <laughs> well, I got it in my arms there's my having a seat we walk back about half an hour 
that's where we're going to pitch our tents. We don't think the water will reach up, but we'll find it later on. That's the two tents up, as you can see. I'll let you have a better look in a minute. Just having a wee sit down, having a Mars bar and a wee drink. Right, here's a better look at the tents. You see the way I've pitched it. I've said it before and a lot of people are saying it, but these things, Delta anchors are fantastic. If you've got an Acto or a, a Laser or a Zephyros. There's my, there's my tent. Not too bad, no as untidy, no a slight improvement, my usual. It's early yet. It's early, right? I know I unpacked my rucksack yet right enough, but it's usually a, a mess. Plenty of time for the best. Let's check Matt, he's always saying he's tidy and he is always usually tidy. Yeah, no much difference this time. How can it not be tidy this man, isn't it? You can <laughs> see. Oh, there's Matt fashioning the, he was ready for the beach, he's got his beach beach camouflage gear on. Desert Storm. Desert Storm. If we get any, any terrorists coming in for the, the beach front, we're all right. <laughs> Here's a rubbish bag. We always take our rubbish back home with us. Yes, this Matt Sacto, he's put Dyneema in his, he said it's better. What well, is it better for, doesn't he stretch or something? Much stronger than a stretch. Right. Especially when wet, when it gets wet, doesn't he, doesn't he lose any of its tightness, it just still stays the same. Right, there you go, there's a, an improvement for you. All the tents I have always changed them to Dyneema, and it's only um, two mil. Two mil dynamo. Right, strong. Line There's our view. A wee bit different from my usual views. See that the last time, last time I was in the woods, and this time I'm by, by the sea. I've always been in top of the hills, near enough. In fact, I think I have always been in the hills. It's not all rise that way, so we'll get a, another nice day tomorrow, we think, and we hope. Ah, oh, bloody. You can see we've got our friends, Scotland's secret weapon to invasion. The midges, Keep absolutely. The Keeps the Taliban away. Keeps the Taliban, maybe that's. That could be used as a weapon, insects. Absolute swarm of them. I don't know if you can pick them up in the camera. Oh, what a pest. Matt's got his midgy hat on. Absolute swarmed it. He's having country Durham beef meatballs. I might not have anything tonight. I might just have crisps and a Mars bar. I might save my food for tomorrow. It's going to be a long day tomorrow, isn't it? You obviously got enough food for tomorrow. Aye, I know. Just go make something to do. Nah, I'm alright, because I had that bacon sandwich, didn't I? <laughs> that, was, that was about 12 o'clock. It's quarter to nine. Uh -huh. 